Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure to be here in the Boston University. Uh, my name is Douglas uh, Schillen Graf, and this is my colleague, Yari Hasamani. We work for Red Hat, and um, we, worked on the, we worked on the Container on Wheels group, and tonight we're going to speak about CEDA from Interface. The agenda for tonight is um, what's freedom from interference. We are going to speak about um, automotive distribution and the FFI. Podman, C group, blue chip, system D, which are components from this distribution. And demos, a few demos, two demos, just to show some power that we are building as a team in the Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora. Yeriv, how about you start? I would like to ensure Computerized service for computer, computer environment that uh, if we have critical um, processes, we would like to make sure that these processes are free from any interference, either you know, negative timers and uh, the operating system or other applications or consumption of CPU and stuff like that. That's a, was our, that was our, the main concern uh, while people started to think about. Uh, about uh, Linux operating system for automotive. Um, we have some good examples. Uh, so uh, cars, probably most of you know, there's no way here to find it. You can skip it. Uh, airplanes, uh, airplanes uh, you know, in the past there was more hardware and uh, more, uh, uh, let's say, uh, traditional uh, electronic software that was embedded into it. Today we are moving more and more into computerized environment. The same goes for um, um, medical devices. I remember that I was in the 1980s a software developer for medical devices. Uh, 1990, sorry, in Italy. <laughs> it was a disaster if I would like to think about it. But, uh, didn't interfere with uh, operators. Um, that's it. So uh, let's continue. Uh, for that, uh, there are many regulation bodies that try to uh, set standards for different industries. So, uh, uh, and the, one of the main, the, the key concern is functional safety, which means no damage uh, occurs based on failures to, um, uh, to people. That's uh, the most, um, let's say, expensive uh, lawsuit for one or for five or six or seven. Uh, and that goes on uh, and brings some uh, safety standard. In our use case, it's ISO 26262. It's how we work, there is a, a, an option to uh, there is a standard how you really uh, design and, uh, and, uh, and uh, analyze the risks and try to mitigate them and later on test and bring evidence. Uh, it's um, very specific work, but um, if you do it once for Linux, it is covering after that. You only need to do it once, and then uh, it is uh, automated and combined. Uh, we will speak here about uh, ACIL and quality manage, uh, two different uh, definitions, and we will speak about it later on. Well, on the right, we have the inspectors, right, for the certification. That okay. time. We should pass, uh, when you say you're certified, you should pass uh, an auditor body. Let's say, man, you work correctly, you brought me the evidence, you show me that I can trust you. Okay? Now you can ship your um, operating system to others. It doesn't say or it doesn't um, uh, confirm that if someone will buy uh, this or deploy this operating system, its application that run above it are functional. He, he has the own responsibility okay, to be certified also. That's a car with many things, and it is going to exploit, you know, within the future. Yes, and the, like yes, in the future, uh, for future, when we speak about future um, and running operational system like that, um, should be Linux, of course, and there should be Red Hat for sure, CentOS, um, Automotive. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm giving you the back, right? Oh, sorry. Yes, and. Um, as you can see here, we have so many services running in the car, right? We have car battery, 
trailer lights, sensor, cruise control, tire pressure. All these items here that are listed can be, uh, will be SO or PM, right? So imagine um, during. Yes. So they are. Yes. So those servers that those those servers are, will be containers, and the the difference between them, I we will explain to you guys, that um, can be risky for human beings or no, in terms of can be fatal fatal right can be very risky or not, and um, as you can see here, the base for this car is a. Uh, Podman, SystemD, SLinux, Compose FS, C1, PM, Blue Chi, TLBC, Kernel, C groups, right? Um, on the top of the operational system, also we connect as a puzzle, right? The car manufacturer end-to-end -end vehicle software platform, so any manufacturer can come with their software and connect to the operational system, so you'll be easy as that. Um, Yeriv, you can continue from here. <laughs> so, what is ACER? Okay, based on the standard. Uh, uh, ACER is a, we, we find in the industry a um, safety integrity level, which means whatever going um, uh, the lowest safety, uh, safety integrity level, whichever goes uh, lower than that, uh, is not, it's not um, risky from the damage based on failures that happen in the car. So uh, when uh, just for a uh, uh, use case, if Red Hat uh, interacts with some uh, car vendor that would like to uh, have an operating system, you say you should define Red Hat. I would like this certification or that certification for the ACES. Okay? And based on that, we have an automation and processes, and uh, the, the company define uh, define the timelines. You know, if, if it's a certification that already exists, one thing. If it's something that was not does not exist anymore because of higher level AC, AC level. So uh, there is more plan of work to do for that. Okay? So that's all the, all the, when we spoke about FFI, all the processes that should not be interfered from us, we call it um, uh, the, the, the process of running our repository, the process that are running in the AC space, okay? the, the, the space that should not be interfered. Okay? Uh, Example yes. So for ASO, as I mentioned before, everything that may ca cause damage, or for example, for human beings, you know, um, brakes. If the car lost the brakes, probably, you know, something may cause a damage for us, right? We can hit another car, or something bad can happen. Um, or the collision warning system, or the blind spot detection. So all those kind of uh, ISO servers are what examples that um, we need to detect, uh, not detect, but that we need to take care of during the, our certification as an operational system. Mitigation, what yes. Happens, this happens, we need to mitigate. Yes. And let's go to quality Quite. management. Yeah. I'll take, sorry. Yes. So I, saw, I thought you do not like this. <laughs> uh, so for the quality manage, means that the failures that could happen in, in other uh, processes or features or whatever in the car, that something will happen, nothing will, nothing bad could be uh, resulted from that. Okay? So if my infotainment um, uh, application is up now, or navigation, I can live with it. Maybe I will not, for the navigation, I, I do not know how to go from here to there, but I will live. Okay? The examples. Yes. Uh, yeah, navigation system, cl uh, climate control, infotainment, power seats, power window, all those examples that uh, you can, you know, something bad happens, you can continue driving, and then uh, you can go to, uh, to the service for the, from your car manufacturer. They can fix it, and no problem. You can continue your driving. So here is just, uh, you know, this is very complex to make operational system like this, you know. So me and Yariv, a few years back, just a few years back, right? Uh, Yariv just, uh, you know, asked me, hey, let's find the wash, you know? 
and um, some engineers like uh, from Fedora, CentOS, Podman, and uh, yeah, and uh, they are like uh, in Brazil, take some caipirinhas, and uh, you know, and I uh, watch. By the way, if you you know would like to join us here in front, yeah. <laughs> If you'd like to join us, please. Uh, okay. So speaking about uh, CentOS uh, automotive distro, we have the CentOS, as our colleague Jeffrey was speaking here, uh, specific for automotive, you know, which is Linux, completely open, real open, okay, really open source. Um, not, not like um, some other open source that uh, they claim they are open source, but when you click for download, hey, I want to try this automotive open source, they say. And then you need to sign, give you all your data, you need to give your name, your, your um, social, whatever, you know. They, this is not open source, guys. Don't go for this way. Right? So if you want to try, uh, just go to download. There is a link here, you know. And that's it. Yariv, please continue. So when you speak about Linux or automotive, because Many vendors uh, already uh, doing Linux for other stuff. But it could be achievable. Now. And the Fedora engineers and the CentOS engineers and other engineers and other distinguished engineers, they are very wide. Very wide. And uh, they took all the components and tried to um, uh, tackle this, uh, the risks and try to close and mitigate, you know, say, what operating system? How we will manage it? And they found that we have many things which are already in Linux. It's just a matter of uh, how to maybe put it in the, the pieces different. Okay. So for the isolation, we were speaking earlier about um, um, the namespaces, the first level of isolation, and we have we had it already in the old technology of virtualization, and we have it right now for containers. Um, and um, Containers are enough because we discuss it anyway that we have no extra layers and we have a process and the process is already controlled by the kernel and this process is part of a regular process which is Linux, so why not? Uh, next slide. So if there is no OpenShift, whatever, Kubernetes, so what's the architecture? So um, we have some kind of, um, let's call it uh, two spaces or two... Um, File system? No, two file systems, but I had another word that just um, went out of my mind. Name space? Uh, yeah. no, no. So, partitions. Okay? Partitions. So we have really two partitions. So when you speak about um, uh, about the ACL, this is the, 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 the computer space that uh, uh, should, uh, should host the uninterfered processes. Okay? And when we have the QM, it's another partition. Uh, over there, all the non-critical processes should run. And, uh, we have uh, the, the, the basic layer. You see all the components, our Linux components, which already exist in the market. And uh, so we, have, we are running the QM, which is not, um, not exactly a container. We are running a process, but its base image is not, an ima is not a base image of container. It's a, it's a file system with another system DNA. So it calls. Another init. So we have one system D with, with its init running in the host. We have nested init, okay, in the uh, QM. And uh, we have some other uh, partitions for uh, read write permissions. So this, uh, let's call it a slash root for, for the QM, is uh, like a slash, so, yes, slash root of the QM is the user like QM with the press inside the partition. And then we have two mounts for Etsy and VAR. Uh, only for QM to uh, uh, because only there we have read write permission. This whole image is always there. Okay, it's not a regular file. And it okay. can be adjusted according with the car manufacturer. Questions up, up, up until now? Yes. So, uh, so 
uh, we spoke about Lucci earlier, uh, and Lucci is a uh, Dan asked me, and I, I was not ready. Um, it's really a, a theory, it's like, like we have two computers. I think, it, I think we're going to speak in the next slide about Lucci. No, the next one, but this one you can speak about um, a little this bit more. This is how looks from the perspective of the file system. It's not so efficient. We have two uh, portals running. We have another file system, which is hosted under the USR live QM of the host. Okay? And uh, we have another, and we are running here uh, system D, and then a nested one which runs over here. Okay? And we have one kernel. But we have one kernel if, oh. uh, from a perspective of... Uh, Configuration and settings of out, memory, out of memory dealer and such, the kernel will kill even the, uh, the nested containers or nested in it if, if the, there is any. Okay. And now it's blue chip. Wait, 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 one, one more. Oh. And Podman run all of that, just uh, another, another time. Podman run all of that, which means there's all its uh, kernel goodies for, um, for isolation and security. We'll, we will deep dive into it later on. Sorry, yeah. Bluechip. So, so many applications, so many computers, so many systems, so many computers inside the car. So, there are many compute nodes that run inside our car or will run inside our car. I, I still uh, drive a Ford Galaxy from 2010. <laughs> and whenever I meet the car, it's uh, seven seconds until the media start up. But uh, I'm still dreaming about it, okay? So, uh, Bluechip is a for a is a fundamental element uh, run uh, on uh, messaging through the system D bus messaging. And we can control even for remote on other small computes about uh, system D units, okay? Which is very cool. Even an IT can use it. You put a node, uh, uh, a Bluetooth agent in different uh, computers and you can control it from remote if you would like. Exactly. Next slide. I think it's yes, of that's me. So, speaking about uh, speed of interference, we are going to give an example how this could be um, during the boot, right? This is I need to run a fast boot in the system, right? System D is loading the servers like a blue chi controller that we just spoke about, blue chi agent. Then Podman Quadlet is going to start the containers, right? Which is basically, as you can see here, a bunch of services starting here. Then here we have um, Podman. We, we created this slide showing um, in the deep, like let's say this, we are showing the, the background of Podman, right? Step by step, Podman reads the Quadlet files uh, from this path, then start the containers. Even we showed here QM, and then below we show the nested containers starting. And then in the end, um, not the hand, right? The next step, Podman start managing and uh, calling a uh, system call like clone and share to tell Linux kernel uh, about the namespace uh, for, the, um, for the containers. And if I'm wrong, then watch the, the Jedi uh, master is here to, to, to tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> right? And um, this is um, the next phase, which is the kernel side. So we also made uh, some diagram about this, which is the kernel uh, now receives the information. Then C group P2 or just C group, we start to grab the, the information, right? And uh, with the namespace, start the isolate process, right? The creative namespace for the information. Then uh, SLIMS layer start to grab the information and to simplify, right? Let me see what's going on with the system call pointers, the structures, and then see which layer should be. Then SecComp start uh, grabbing information as well. SecComp basically you tell, okay, this system call that was used from this process is blocked or not? No. Yes. Okay. The next step. Now that all this information was processed, the scheduler uh, join the party and say, okay, guys, what's going on? Um, let's make sure that all this information is okay, and uh, let me um, put you guys to dance in the right order. All right, so far, so good, guys. Anything 
Any, any question? Okay? All right. And now, because we started this talk about, uh, yes, operational system getting certificate, uh, certification to go into a um, car, into an airplane, into something that, uh, let's say, we are flying. In my case, I came from Florida. I was in the airplane, and I go, hmm. What happens if the pilot was in the airplane and then get uh, interference from another airplane, a radio, and uh, mm, how can we test this and satisfy the mitigate risk in analysis for uh, automotive? Can we, can we have a sample from the work that you guys are doing? Um, just a little sample, yes. I think we can show you guys. Um, Let's imagine, let's, let's, let's imagine something. Let's imagine we have a hacker. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm a dreamer, guys. Yeah. That's the problem, I'm a dreamer. My manager is here, where's my manager? Greg, Greg is here. Greg, no, I'm a dreamer. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Sorry about that. I'm a dreamer. So let's imagine um, we have a hacker around, and he joined my car, he entered my car, and then he was able to, to connect to my nested container inside KM, right? He got the hood there. And then my car is, um, he has a, um, he's a battery car, like uh, those uh, with the battery, right? I'm not saying any names. And is a what? Electrical vehicle, I'm not saying the name. And then his idea was like, uh, hey, okay, this is electrical vehicle. Yeah, let me, let me make some money on this guy because Douglas, I think Douglas, you make a good, uh, a good money on, on Douglas. So he wrote a, a script that he mine my car meanwhile I'm sleeping. So I park my car. So as soon as I connect to, um, to charge my car and I go to sleep, my script, not my script, sorry guys, not me. <laughs> not me, pay attention. Um, it's just a joke to make sure you guys are not sleeping. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, right? You know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. I knew, you, I told you that uh, someone you knew about it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> no, I didn't tell this. Douglas is old also. Yeah, no, what? No, I'm not old, man. I'm not old. But anyway, let's continue. So, uh, the guy was running um, the script on me, on my car, and the battery was charging. And blah, 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 reading the system, setting, reaching demo, blah, 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 blah. Then um, he was, basically, this attack is make sure that uh, when the nested container was running, he was stealing uh, the CPU power from the host, to the, not CPU power, the priority of my host to this script, from this scheduler. So uh, the operational system say, hey, everything is now priority for this script, so the mine you run every time as a priority. But guess what? Failed. Unable to access the operational system call. Mm. The hacker was like, uh, these head hat engineers, damn. What the heck is this guy doing? Uh, I thought these engineers are, nah, I'm not using this word, anyway. Uh, okay, but guess what? It's done wash. Don't wash, SA Linux. Don't wash. So SA Linux prevented attack. Uh, as we can see here, the hacker tried to access, yet denied, failed. And uh, in the host, or in my car, I accessed it, and I saw that we had a f uh, denied. So we are doing our homework. SA Linux prevented. Uh, no, now let's see what. Yes, it's denied. So, but. Guess what? The hacker don't give up easily. My manager know about this. Nobody knows. So what happened? Let's continue our imagination. So for some reason, this Trini guy, this DevOps Trini guy, disabled the SA Linux. It's very hard, huh? Very hard. So he disabled the SA Linux and put this as an update for all the cars and uh, all the cars around the road updated with this firmware. And guess what? For simulation, we, Red Hat, we updated 
and we simulated this with this. We set enforce to see what happens. Again, guys, this is just one risk analysis from many that we did for the certification that we are working on. And let's see what happens. Oh, no. The hacker do not make money on my car. Guess what? He tried to steal my money, my, my car to make money, and the operation is not, not permitted. Without a Linux. Anyone want to try to guess why? Unless, it, no, then what cannot do it? It's a Jedi Master. Uh, another name? No, it's root. It's root. It's root. It's root. He's root. No, he, he's root. He's root. He's root. He's root. Uh, someone, someone said something here. Someone said something. That's right. But who saved the day? Let's try. No, no, not this guy. <laughs> not this guy. Not first. As Podman and Secom. So when we, um, when we deploy KM, we make sure that we use all the features, all the security layers that we can during the installation of the operational system. Uh, to make sure that um, our operational system, when we deploy in the, all the manufacturer's cars that we, that we are supporting at this stage, uh, we have all the security layers that we can provide uh, to not happen such a situation. But again, it's just one example that, from many that we test. Yes, so let's go further. And there is one more example, more than one demo that uh, we have. Here it is. The stage is yours. So we show you, uh, we demonstrate here. Um, uh, we like to demonstrate here uh, how we um, uh, ten days of a uh, of, um, uh, ten days of a uh, of your microphone. Uh, the show that someone was writing. Is that oh, okay? Yeah. So. So uh, well, here are the uh, indicators for application that running uh, under the quality managed uh, partition. While here we have um, um, the indicators for um, application that running from the ACIM part. Uh, we will show how we use. Uh, currently, we sit from outside of the of, let's call it of the um, of the um, uh, compute node of the of the of the car, and we are um, doing some operations through blue chip. Okay. Luchi is, um, um, has uh, three main components, uh, Bluchi controller and uh, you have Bluchi agents. The Bluchi agents connect uh, to, uh, to the Bluchi controller and maintain um, um, a persistent con connection uh, uh, among them. And uh, with that, we can see, we, with the Bluchi CTL client, we can see how many nodes connected to the, to the, to the monitor, sorry, to the controller itself, and how many uh, services are running, and we could filter services, everything from one place. There is a redundancy of the Bluchi controller. If there is a problem uh, of communicating with the server, there is um, some of our um, uh, partners uh, uh, proposed a, a PR to, um, to um, uh, deal with the, with the redundancy of, of Bluetooth controller. Okay, so um, we did it. Um, started. Did you, did you tell them about... Uh, so wait, wait, wait. So let's see uh, the node, the connected node, Bluetooth CTL status. Okay, we see that we have QM local root FS and local root FS. Uh, we will run from, in the, in the bottom one, we will run command to show the containers in a, in a minute. We can filter containers on a, on a node, okay? Um, 
will take some time. Then we can see that in the local root FS, we filter the container tires, brakes, cruise control, safety. And then we could do for the QM itself. We have different applications over there. We have uh, on the QM local root FS node, we have the container map services. That's all system D, uh, system D units, yes? Now we run the containers inside the host in the ACIL part and uh, try to operate things and see what's happening over here. I, I'm not synced with it, but let's see if it's uh, working uh, fast. So that's, uh, yes, now uh, we're stopping a service, okay, in the local root FS, look what happens here, okay. Uh, the, the computer of the main, of the main uh, machine, uh, or sorry, the main, uh, the main um, automo uh, car will do something with this notification based on the policy of the, um, of the uh, manufacturer of the car. Okay, we did another one. We're still in the, the car is, uh, should, not, uh, should not be operatable in that state. See what happens here to the containers, okay? They are stopped as a unit service file. These are just a regular Podman PS. Okay, takes them here because it's all veered with a simulation, so it takes a bit of time. But if you can, if you are downloading uh, from the automotive SIG the QM, QM image, um, you can play with it. Maybe it will not work and you can propose uh, some emerge request. Okay, so now we start everything. We are recovering. So from one, one control point, we're controlling uh, system D unit files. What else? Running. Okay, now we go into the QM. We'll do some activations in the QM itself. So it's, if you see, it's, it was a Podman exec, and then of another, uh, another Podman. Then we see whatever we have in the nested, nested container. There is no, uh, no connection between uh, Rivos and GMC because it's just an emulation of Douglas for the movie. He just did a trip out of home. Sorry with that. Okay. Uh, very slow. Why? Let's see. But it will be faster. Now we have to do some activation. Okay. We are stopping on QM, QM local root FS, the container store, service unit file. One down, we have three. Okay. Now we, QM is running as a service. Uh, let's see what's happening over here. Okay, uh, we are coming back with the containers once uh, the service is up. Then I think it should be a system CTL is active QM, you know, a regular, uh, regular unit, yes. So we know it's active. All of these QM uh, indicators are okay. Now let's, uh, let's shut down. So in that case, everything here will go down. You see the indicators one by one. The timer is uh, two, two seconds, so it takes time. Uh, oops. Okay, let's start right now. You see that it's covered pretty fast. Now, now if there are issues for this QM, uh, some exit status, we, uh, that's nice in, uh, in, the quad, in the unit files of uh, Podman. We can, uh, we can set um, a recovery uh, on, exit, on, on, error, on error codes for the, for the unit file. So we could uh, restart, restart once, do other things. It's very nice, very powerful um, um, using uh, systemd. Now we started, all the services are up. And even if we kill a container, you know, just to do a Podman stop, we will see that um, it's not recovery, it's, uh, we see the indicator responding. And that's, that simulates the way that the, the electrical control unit is working with blue chip. Okay, we are not operating um, an operating system which is bulletproof. Each one of the customers have it, could interact with it, okay? And uh, oh, here, we just killed the container, we saw an indicator inside the QM, okay? Now, if we, if we would like, if the policy for this QM uh, store was to recover automatically, it was recovering automatically, okay? That's it in general. Uh, it's a very cool project. We 
I personally learned Linux, and I'm always learning. And it's all through Podman and Systemd. And I'm still learning. I had the questions I didn't know. Uh, at the answers. Thank you, Douglas. It was a great pleasure. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> I have a mark here. Um, wait a moment, guys. We still need. Uh, we still have a few other slides, I guess. So what is it? Oh, uh, we would like to thank you, the, you guys. We'd like to thank you, the DevCon US organizers, volunteers, open source contributors, because we, uh, Blue Cheek, EM, and the Podman and many other projects, um, we need you guys. And I also would like to thank you Red Hatters and uh, the automotive team, right? Thank you all. <laughs>